good morning, and I was given some good advice on the internet on um, what colors to use, and I couldn't wait, and I had to just right away see if I can uh, slap some pigment on these guys and react. There we go. Not too bad. I experimented with applying a thicker paint onto the face, but I think a better effect is uh, just dry brushing them. And I decided to do the face before the shirts. Because the uh, it's gonna be a lot easier to clean up the shirt than to go back and be so careful on the face. I might just see if I can give them just a little bit more just to the brush is a bit wet. feel very much that uh, painting them on the sprue is just a lot easier. And I'm using a, using a very old, rather old, not, not in good quality, not good shape brush. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this and not get into the light. There we go. I'm not sure if the background music was helping or not. So I don't have it on today. Experiment. Oh yeah, these guys have hands. That's that's good to remember. Oh, this one's uh got a radio it looks like. A little bit too much pigment, really. Just want to slap on a little bit, catching those raised portions of the face. And they will get a wash. Like a a diluted brown. Hmm. Excuse me. So they'll get a, a diluted brown wash on their faces, and that should bring out any um, shadows. It should look fine, but I'm being, not being too careful with, um, paying too much. I might have to, might have to go with a slightly better brush because of, um, because I like to dry brush everything, um, I go through brushes rather quickly. Let's see if we can saturate that brush a bit. There we go.
I'm not used to the Tania paints quite yet. They get a different texture. They're they're just perfect for modeling. I'm not used to that. I'm used to just going and using whatever whatever paint is around. I'll do some research next or soon, and uh, maybe I'll be able to tell some of these guys' stories. Um, which was the fun thing for me back in high school doing historical war gaming. It was just doing the research, learning everyone's names. And um, let's see, I got one more hand over here, I think. Not to do any, not to paint the guns bright red or bright yellow, but I'm going to go for a nice historical piece. I got some very, very good advice on um, how and why the material would change. So I'm hoping that every guy's shirt's going to be just a little bit different color because, well, um, I guess that's that's what I'm told of how they were. Oops, and just lost, lost a bit there. One, one last little bit on this. a proper amount on the brush there um, proper amount of pigment and I'm gonna I'm gonna go in a bit but I just couldn't wait after after work yesterday going and uh, picking up this paint pot with the, the flesh tones I'm, I'm not going to be too worried about and this this XF15 Tamiya pigment covers really nicely uh, you know when it's when it's thick definitely going to be painting on this brew, but I think I will also try to do that thing I like where I'm painting half of it a darker color and half of it white. Just like, like how the thin paint goes over that. A little bit of a neckline. I think we, I think we got most of the hands. Thank you very much, everyone, and uh, I hope everyone has a nice May Day. Alright, thank you very much.